can stare so deep in your eyes to tell you about the strategy that Beyoncé uses to create an enormous amount of confidence. Just look at her on stage, unapologetically strong, able to entertain thousands of people without blinking of an eye, without her heart pounding, without her freezing to death in fear. How does she do it? Well, that's what I want to talk about today. Is that a secret? It's not only her secret. A lot of artists, David Bowie or Nicki Minaj, use the same strategy. And to be very honest, I also used it when I was starting this channel. I'm going to tell you my story a bit later. First, let's get to Beyoncé and her powerful tool. The best thing about this tool is that it's absolutely free and it's available to you at this very moment because the only thing you need is this, your head. And it might be helpful to have something to write. So let's get started. What is the secret ingredient to superstar confidence? Sasha is my alter ego. An alter ego. In coaching or psychology context, we call this persona ideal self. For Beyoncé, this persona is Sasha Fierce. And oh my God, I love this name. Sasha in my head connects to, you know, this strong lady. She's super sexy, super beautiful. Fierce is fearless, is like, what else do you want to add? These are exactly the archetypes, the stereotypes that Beyoncé needed to really overcome her own imposter syndrome, overcome her own anxiety and fears and build the confidence she needed to perform on stage on the great scale that she's able to do it. If you have such an alter ego or strong persona, there is a gap between you and that person, obviously. I'm going to talk about it a bit later. But first, I want to tell you how to apply the strategy in your life so you can also to overcome some obstacles that you face. The first step is actually to create this persona in your head, even better on paper. What makes them so special and so strong? How do they talk? How do they move? How do they dress up? The more details you have, the better, because you are creating something that in the coaching context we would call internal authority, kind of identity that you're gonna be able to tap into in specific situations in your life. That's extremely powerful. I talked about it in some previous videos, it's more powerful than over people telling you about how you should be or what you should do. These are external authorities. Internal authorities is a very powerful tool in coaching. So you get this persona specified. It's gonna be probably a longer process, so give yourself this time. The second step, create some bridges between that person and yourself. When does she show up? Usually when I hear the crowd, when I yeah. put on my stilettos. For Beyoncé, it's the moment she puts on her stilettos and she hears the crowd. These are the triggers where her brain learns, now I need to become Sasha Fierce and act and move and change in order to do my best in this specific situation. So ask yourself, what kind of cues I could give my brain to tap into this identity that I created? I suggest this to be something physical. It could be the necklace, it could be a specific type of clothes. Thing, something that physically reminds you that you are now getting into this persona. So your brain will remind itself to tap into this personality that you created. The third step, create opportunities to actually become this person. You know, you can think of it as acting. You could think of it as trial before your big moment. Try to schedule some daily moments to become this person and spend time with them if you like. I know that some of the more critical viewers among you might think right now, is it actually healthy? Is it not authentic? No, 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 no. Don't go that far because you're actually not changing your identity. You don't start saying that you are somebody who you're not. You actually recognize that you are your real self here, but you have this bigger resource, bigger persona, your ideal self that you are walking towards. That's your mastery. We all have different roles in our lives and different identities. Having one more identity is not going to hurt anybody, especially if it's the one that is going to empower you to make positive positive change in your life, overcome obstacles and fears and move forward with the confidence of Beyonce, like... And this tool is for free. What? No way. Yeah. So how does it work? If you want to dig deeper into this concept, you need to know about self-discrepancy theory and self-directed learning. In my personal story, how I used it, in 2019, I was dancing in salsa tournaments. I remember it very vividly, this moment when I was standing ready to go through the door for dancers 
onto the big dance floor. We were supposed to dance our choreography and improvise salsa together with uh, salsa teachers that organized the previous dance tournament that we participated in. Fears and imposter syndrome and all this inner talks. Who am I to dance here? I cannot do it. What if I trip? What if I forget my step? What if I freeze? I somehow managed to take a mental step back and think to myself, I'm here to dance and that's all I need to focus about. Express the love I feel for dancing. We won these championships and this is how powerful it could be. Like at that time, I didn't have a coaching knowledge to explain to you how it works. But right now I know that at that time I could take on the mindset of a dance champion, of a person who actually wins, who just doesn't allow herself to have all this negative chatter in her head. But she's there and now and able to give the 120, 150% because that's what she does. This is what I'm talking about here. You know, with starting Mastery Muse, it was exactly the same thing. I am not a video editor. I'm still learning with every single video. I am a public speaker. I'm a coach. I'm a mentor. I'm a digital learning designer. can do a lot of things, but video editing on YouTube, <laughs> it's been a journey, right? And to call myself Mastery Muse at the same time, I don't even need to tell you how much time I spend second guessing myself. Like, who am I to call myself like this? This name was something that my partner came up with to give me an idea of a good name that could capture the coach and mentor and older sister personality with like motivating and inspiring people but without being this you know very aggressive grind set coach and bringing it more feminine and gentle energy to this self-improvement field by the way you know if i look for hashtag self-improvement you see so many guys ladies where are you <laughs> come up <laughs> even with mastery muse i could start identifying with the more often I sat in front of the camera, recorded myself, got feedback and encouraging comments and really messages. And that's how I feel I am doing what I wanted to do. I just need to remember that. Sometimes I really have bad days when I feel like oh, my vision is too big for just one person. Why do I even have it? So that happens too. But this is not the mastery muse. This is the current Marika's problem. The mastery muse is always there as this idea yourself to support and encourage and I hope this is what it is for you as well if you want to learn more about the difference between real self and ideal self I also have a video where I talk about it and I also have a video where I talk with a great coach about overcoming imposter syndrome pick one I will see you the next time so crazy right now. I look a star so deep in her eyes I 